Hello everyone, I am Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone is doing good. So in this particular video, we are going to see how to read JSON file from cloud storage using SpicePar and the same way we are going to see how to write JSON file to cloud storage bucket in Google Cloud Platform. So uh, we will be instead of using Python, we will be using SpicePar in this particular demo. So without any further delay, let's get started. So I am into my Google Cloud console. So by clicking on this, you can activate Cloud Shell and this is my Cloud Shell. So this is the file which I'm going to uh, read uh, read from Cloud Storage Bucket inside PySpar. And the same way I'll be writing the JSON file to Cloud Storage Bucket using PySpar. So this is the uh, one, one JSON file, the next JSON file and the JSON like, um, or like and uh, JSON file list or uh, like a collection of JSON objects and finally like multi-line like uh, array of JSON so this is the four file which I'll be using for this demo and to create the SpicePark environment I have created a Jupyter notebook that is user managed notebook in Dataproc in Google Cloud so this is the notebook which I'm using for my demo and this notebook has created a cluster so the cluster wise uh, I'll be using this cluster so I'll uh, I'll make a separate video on how to create a cluster or how to create a user managed notebooks or managed notebooks. What is the difference between user managed and managed notebooks in Google Cloud Platform? And what are the different ways to create a notebook? Like you can create notebook from Vertex AI. You can create notebook from Cloud Dataflow for uh, if you're working with uh, um, Apache Beam. And then you can even uh, create uh, notebooks from the Cloud Dataproc the way which I did it. So, here we can support or we can work with uh, big data technologies from this web interface. So this is the uh, cluster which which we created for this particular demo. So here you can open these things like um, Jupyter notebooks or Jupyter lab. Even you can click on this, you will be able to see a Jupyter notebook. So I am using Jupyter lab for this purpose. Like both are like uh, Jupyter lab, Jupyter notebook, both are same only. So which this is the one script file. This is the script file which we are going to do it. So now I'll open it from uh, the same way you can open it from um, Jupyter notebook as well, Jupyter lab as well. You can open. This is how we can open. Like this is how the Jupyter lab is. This is how it is in Jupyter notebook, and the same way this is also in Jupyter notebooks only. So from here you can open it in Jupyter lab. You can open it from Jupyter and the other things as well. So first we'll open it in uh, Jupyter notebook itself. Uh, here it is. So we are going to uh, like all the files which we have seen in GCS data, GCS data one, one dot JSON, JSON data dot JSON, multi. This all the files have been moved to cloud storage bucket. So inside this bucket, you can file all the things: JSON data dot JSON, multi line data dot JSON, and in under JSON input folder you can find gcs data and gcs data one dot json both the files you can find it in this particular gcp cloud storage bucket so we are going to read this jupyter files from cloud storage bucket using PySpar. so to do that i'll close all the other sessions like i'll close this jupyter lab this is the jupyter lab which i'm going to close it this is the jupyter notebook and i have opened this jupyter notebook so i'll make here so i have executed the uh, here you can see the kernel is it in it is in PySpar and the rest everything like similarly what we see it in uh, Jupyter notebook now the same things here so I have executed the first cell uh, I have created the spark session and then from this part so you can go to here you can go here inside this folder GCS data GCS data one down so you can copy this uh, GS util URI you can copy this GS util URI the same way for this also you can copy this gsutil uri for all, in this demo purpose we will be uh, using this gsutil uri only for most all the term purposes so next we will execute this cell so it has been executed the gcs data and then we are reading uh, we are reading in spark session spark dot read format this is json file we are using json format for same way we can use csv t text file parquet file all those things like in first schema option header equal to load the path the path we are uh, the actual gcs path this is google cloud storage path i'm just hitting it enter here so it is taking uh, 
yeah it has got run and now we will be able to show the data frame as well so this is the data frame which we saw it here right like this is data one where you can see record number zip code zip code type all those things the same way you can find it here also zip code zip code type state record number city all those things and the next thing is we are going to uh, use as uh, here we didn't uh, use schema like we just use the option in first schema and we are given to so we can pass use a defined schema as well so to do that you will be using this uh, json data one so uh, you can go to this particular uh, bucket click on this json data and copy this gsu to the URI. come here and you can paste the path here path one path here exit enter and uh, like enter the schema as well so inside json data you can find this so schema id app description so description app uh, it is um, so uh, description and that uh, like everything is in the string type only we are making it is in the string type just executed it and the next thing is the same way whatever we did like instead of schema instead of using info schema we are using this custom schema and the same thing load path so then it will show it so the next thing you can do uh, df dot print schema as well it will print you the schema also like schema is uh, id uh, string app is string description is also string schema is also string the schema is also you can use this option and then finally you can use this method like format org dot from which data source you are pulling the data from so you can use this format also so the same thing i'm using path one whatever we did here like previously that same thing we can use these are different additional parameters and the next thing is read json from multiple file so here you can see inside this particular json input we have two fold like two json files we can do it in two different way one is you can give this multi-line d uh, sorry that is different like this multi-line data json like we are going to uh, array of json we are going to have array of json to do that you can come here uh, go to this multi-line data dot json copy the path and go back paste it here execute it so here we are we are having to like array of json like inside this uh, inside this file we have one array json object this is the other json object and collectively it is in the array so we are just going to execute this as well yeah here you can see those things and then we are going to read multiple files at the same time so here we are going to read multiple like one or two files at the same time to do that we are we will be using this part so i will uh, not, not this one like to copy this this is data and paste it in the first load like what are the files you wanted to do the same thing you can load it here as well this is data one so here we if you see the gcs data it has same schema only the same thing it has same schema and inside a folder if you have multiple files like this you can paste a part that is this is one approach there is another approach as well so the next approach is reading all files from the directory so this is the directory which we are using inside this json input folder we will have all the files json files all different json files we will have so we can paste it here something like this you have to do this is gs huh? and this is my uh, bucket name json input this is the folder and you can do something like this so whatever the file which has uh, json as the extension it will read all those files and um, you can see the similar result, like the same result from line 16 you can see it for here as well you can see the same result from line 16 also now we uh, these are the different approaches where we uh, how we can read data when there are multiple files then there are uh, files from a directory itself then uh, we how to read array of json how to read a simple json complex json all those things how to uh, infer schema from it and how to give a custom schema so, so all those things we have seen here now we are going to see how to write uh, json data json data into gcs bucket so this is the data so here you can see like james that is my first name not my actual first name so james is the function name and there is a 
uh, missing value in the middle name and followed by uh, smith is the last name and id is 36636 and mail and what is the salary here you can see string string type integer type there are many other types as well so we are you go you are using string and integer type here so i've just executed both the cells and now i'll be uh, creating a data frame out of this data and the schema so you can see here so pyspark dot print schema what is the schema first name string all those things you can see salary alone it is integer and all those things nullable true and then you can use this the data frame repartition one so you will have this in a single json file itself write modus override so there are basically three types overwrite um, truncate and uh, replace so not replace like override truncate the other thi thing is like uh, i forgot it so we can use those like the there is one more thing also like override truncate and the other mode also so like format we wanted to save it in json format and where you wanted to write it so we wanted to write into this gcs path so what we are going to do is so before that i'll execute this and i'll show you I'll copy this paste here I'll just print it for you so print so first is the bucket name the JSON output that is the folder and this is a file name so we will just print it so this is the path so GCS bucket name JSON output here where it will go is GCS uh, this bucket json output inside this we will create one like in it will create this json dot file data one dot json dot file so we will see instead of data one we will see employee dot json file so just hit enter it will not it will yeah it is done so go to this json input output folder do one refresh will be able to see employee.json inside this employee.json you can see that like open copy authenticated url so i'll paste it url here and uh, you will be able to uh, download the data so just click on this double click on it will be able to find see the data james michael those things like you know, first name james middle name smith 336 all those things we will be able to see it so um, we can close this once this is done you have to stop the cluster or you can delete the cluster so i'll be stopping my cluster here so i'll be stopping my cluster so that's it for this video uh, i'll try to make new videos on how to, like the same videos like similar videos on how to create uh, do it for csv parquet avro file text file all those things in upcoming videos if you have any questions please post in the comment section and please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and AI analytics uh, i'll meet you in the next video with more interesting content from azure and gcp cloud platform as well and uh, from aws as well so uh, i'll meet you in the next video until then it's bye from Vignesh. happy learning thank you